Hi everyone, it's Jim from Javelin here with the second in a series of videos on SOLIDWORKS best practices when it comes to mating. Uh, today I'm going to show you why you don't want to mate your relations in SOLIDWORKS of course. So I have here a uh, an air cylinder and a valve. The valve isn't mated in a position. It could be but it's not going to matter for uh, it's not going to matter for these purposes. Now I want to connect up an air hose from there to there. If I'm using SOLIDWORKS Premium, I could easily use the routing add-in, but if I don't, I'm going to have to do this with a sweep. So I'm going to create an in-context part. So I'm going to insert a component, new part, that gets created at the, uh, at the assembly level. And click on this and edit the part. So I'm going to create a sketch. First one, I'm going to make a, a 3D sketch because I want to sketch my path. And I'll put in a line that goes basically from this out. And I'm going to put another line that goes from this circle out. Whoops. Hit tab so I can make it normal too. And I'm going to connect that up with a spline. And just make that tangent on both ends. Then I'll make another sketch. This time a 2D sketch. And I'll make my air hose so it's six millimeters. Then I'll pick my two sketches and do a sweep. Nothing too unusual here. Now you'll notice, or you might have noticed, then I applied sketch relations both on this end and this end. So I'll exit out and I rebuild and everything's fine. Now, if I were to move this, for instance, and rebuild, it updates, which is kind of what I want at this stage in the game. So I save my assembly, send it off, and but you'll notice that the air hose is fixed if I were to float my air cylinder and move it, I'd end up with some problems because my because I've got I've got my sketch relations starting at this at this end. So what I want to do is I would want my hose to move with it. So I'm going to float that and I'm going to mate it into place. I'm going to give it a concentric mate. I'm mating it at this end because if I mated it at the other end, it would be even less stable than I'm about to show you. So I've got two out of my three mates in. The third one is that this can twist freely. So I might be tempted to try and mate these two together. And if I do that, it's telling me it's over it's over defining the assembly, which is a bit of a problem. So you might think it's all nice and good and that I can rotate it, but if I were to do a rebuild right now, it updates. It's not quite what I'm after. So what I want to do is I want to uh, I want to not mate those two together because it's it's already related. So if I were to mate that and that so it's concentric, I'll have like a circular reference type thing going on where the the position of the hose tells it basically how long it's supposed to be, but also the length of it tells it where this component's supposed to be. So we can't have that. So instead what I'm going to do is I can go back and I can use the plane. Make the planes so they're parallel just in case things end up moving later on. And now that's, that component's fully defined. And if I were to move my, uh, if I were to move this part, I'll float it. You should see that wherever I end up moving it, whenever I rebuild, everything stays much more stable than if I were to have any kind of mates at this end. Actually, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to blow away these mates. Well, two of them anyways. We're going to make these two concentric with one another. 
also going to do that. So now you might be inclined to think that it's stable once again. In fact, I'll fix this end of it. I get a few overdefining things, but that's okay. I'll go in here and I'll suppress these mates. On that, so now it's fixed. Oh, not quite. But what you'll see is that as I rebuild, it just turns into a big mess. And if I were to try and look at this this sweep sketch, you'll see that it's it's just become unstable. So that's why you don't mate your relations. Thank you.